Hello, we were to read John 19, Proverbs 14. So we can start with John. Well, in John 19, uh, Jesus didn't say that much because he was facing the crucifixion, but something that stood out in verse 11, and he was speaking to Pilate. He said, thou couldest have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. If you have any type of authority or any type of responsibility, you would not have that unless the Lord allowed you to be in that role, to be in that position. So we have no reason to get the big head or to be conceited or arrogant because we are just merely shadows or temporary lights. So with that, we have to be mindful that it is only for the mercy of the Lord that we're here and that we're able to do what God has told us and called us to do. Hopefully we'll uh, follow his will and not of our own. But that really uh, spoke to me also when Jesus was on the cross and he pointed to the disciples and he told his mother, woman, behold thy son. And then told the disciples, behold thy mother. Right, we have those people of influence around us. Maybe we didn't biologically give birth to them, but they are people who have been placed in our lives for a season so that we can we can influence and that we can derive uh, inspiration and instruction from them. So I thank the Lord for this chapter. I think Timotheus read the wrong chapter, but you're familiar with the um, story of Jesus dying on the cross. What do you have to say with what I just said as far as you would not have power unless God gave it to you and <laughs> granted his grace to you and that the Lord places people in our path to be of influence. You don't have too much to say about that. Yeah, well, just know that <laughs> he has counselors, he has advisors, he has mentors, he has people who are speaking into his life and, you know, you, you should take heed to some who are in your path because uh, God placed them there. Okay, and today is a 14, so we would have gone to Proverbs 14. Was there something that spoke to you in this chapter? Um, the 30th verse. 30th verse says, A sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy is the rottenness of the bones. Mm. I like that because I think the other day you told me that you started your day off with gratitude and I tried that this morning. And I felt much more um, like ready to start my day and I just felt more. I look I look forward, even though it was a Monday morning, I just look forward to my day and my whole week. Yes. And just being thankful at, from the start. Um, yeah. Start your day off with that instead of checking your phone. Yeah. Because when you do that, then you're looking at what other people are doing and then it's just like immediate head, like... Um, initiation of sometimes involuntary uh, jealousy. So right, yeah, good to be uh, content. Yes, and that reminded me of the last scripture in Psalms one forty four, which was from this morning. Happy is that people. Yay, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. When you recognize the blessings of the Lord throughout the day, from the beginning to the end. And the people that the Lord has put in your way, the uh, the responsibility, the jobs, the tasks. If you're just thankful to be alive, hallelujah, woo, that makes a difference. So thank you for sharing, Timotheus, and know that God has greater plans for you as you acknowledge him.